Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. Yaga! I'm coming! Something's ahead. I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. And a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? The what? The tree. The red oak. The red oak. We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck? How about you finally go down your own path? I never wanted to harm anyone. I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You wanna hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I, I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak. What you really wanna find is... Is it drilling into your little head? The hunt. The hunt! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. First, I have to get some food to get my strength back. I... Keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Polko, Slavitsa, Dragoy. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread.
Oh, what's your problem, little one? It looks like it wants the fruit. That's my good deed for the day. Oh, it's a big one. I hope I can take it down. Zora. more than one shot. <sighs> Your blood won't go to waste. Shall flow through my heart forever now, because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. Bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. Monsters trap birds just for fun. I can try to force them open. I could have set the bird free. In a way, I just did. People have always accused me of helping Baba, called me a, a freak. When Zora disappeared too, there was nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So, here I am. Finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the oak.
far, so good. Looks fine. Looking for a lost sister. Was that a, a, a lost spirit? years ago the same that haunts my every dream <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek look for any sign of Zora they're hissing huh <sighs> my mask it's trembling Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Um... The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? You're mad. Damn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> it 
See the vines? Whoa. Not bad. Forest has been crawling with these lately. <sighs> it's that spirit again. There's something about it that reminds me of Dragoy. Oh, my God, the bridge is broken. I can't. So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. No. Figure out something that makes sense. Mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you? Oh, oh, shoot. A human girl. And she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Ooh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Did she come alone? Uh, where's Keep she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... Uh, see, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borko. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Ah, oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> I wonder if this, this terrible, mighty dragon and, uh, lost spirit I saw a while ago could be linked somehow. Did you happen to see it too? Oh, a lost spirit, huh? I'm afraid I didn't. The restless souls reveal themselves only to whom they choose. And sometimes they can carry lost memories. Lost memories? Yes, the ones you both share. You have to follow the spirit and relive the memories so the lost soul can finally rest. Some say it's nearly impossible that you may lose everything, including your life. But trust me, it's worth the risk. Because by helping the spirits, you might help yourself too. Hmm. We all carry our own burdens. Ah, uh, yes. Such as the fire drake? Dragons used to be something you would rather hear about from the elders. Stories about beasts breathing fire, eating sheep, but honey. The beast, this bloody hole eater, built its nest somewhere in our forest. Sometimes it sticks its ugly head from a cave and demands offerings. Honey's enough for it now. But the spring's just begun. It micro-hungry for meat. Or mushrooms. What a pile of rubbish. There is no bloody dragon. Just greed and 
vice and deception. Honey is liquid gold. It rules the world, corrupts people. No wonder someone's using that for their own benefit. And we still can't afford to lose a single drop anymore. Hmm. Guess I won't know who's right until I find out on my own. It seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge. So maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face, even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as... A horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar. <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure I am. Hang in there, Zora. Wherever you are. It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. I think I know this place. I was here, like... It's been a year now. Painful memories? Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Finders keepers. You can do it. Interesting to be out of the bag of milk. And find me see your wasps that big? Willow what? <laughs> the sinister lights leading you straight to hell. Willow wasps. I like it.
Before our might, puny mortal, soon the rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I... I beg your mercy, my Queen Empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement, so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Those rivers of blood don't really sound too good to me. There will be no alliance between us, Aunt Queen. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror. Taking its life for my own needs. Who goes there? A peasant? Have you lost your way to the village, serf? Oh, what a gallant steed you are. Bovi Boko sent me to help you with that honey case. Huh! He sent you? <sighs> well then, it seems the time has come to earn your valor, squire. We need to stop that filthy dragon from gorging on our people. We'll serve it some proper justice instead. Squire, huh? <clears throat> How do you propose we proceed, my lord? I have designed a special piece of siege machinery, a work of wonder. We will push it into the dragon's lair, where it shall bestow God's will upon the beast. The problem is we're still missing black powder. I need someone small and sneaky for the job. <sighs> Something tells me this is where I step in. Correct. You'll need to retrieve it from a bloody outlaw's lair. Rebel. God's curse his name. Slippery Jack's friend? Why won't you go, sir? Well, um... <laughs> Good one. Rebel is one of the cursed, of course. And I am a grand. Without further ado, shall we free the land of the dragon's reign? Have you... Have you ever seen the beast? But of course! It sticks its ugly head from one of the pits. Uh, sometimes. Not to mention all the unholy sounds and poisonous fumes. Mm-hmm. Right. The Grand and the Cursed. Borvi and Jack said something about that too. So there's two kinds of you mushrooms? Can't you work together to defeat the mighty dragon? Oh, the bloody cursed mushrooms hate all the law-abiding citizens. In their drunken minds, they became convinced that being just and virtuous is too boring for them. Alas, virtue is persecuted by the wicked more than it is loved by the good. And the dragon? That's a foe of all the virtuous. I think I'm good to go. Uh, I, I mean... I shall not wait any longer to obtain the most wondrous artifact from the Defiler's Domain. <sighs> Splendid! Retrieve the powder! When you're done, you'll find me at my... Anything wrong? Can you hear it? The enemy is approaching! Stand and fight for your life, Squire! <sighs> there are too many of them. Whoa, it does that? I used to 
hate this thing. Stuck on my hand. You've just... almost figured it out. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. One day you'll get the most out of it. I, I, I don't think I can repeat. The cauldron has all the answers. I'll try. Now, make it special. Boost your shot with the gauntlet's energy. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. Now, what was it the mushroom wanted? upon a shooting star. You could always shoot the hive down. Feel Did you just trick the bees to get the honey twice? Liar, liar. Time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr... Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. The others protesting, lost souls ridden around, and made tunnels blocked by those awful roads. Gotta dig the terrace. It's got me all twisted. Tell me, miss, did I go up or did I go down? You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes, that's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. The monsters aren't going to move themselves, are they?
Hmm. An old ritual statue. We spilled those to ward off the winter. Days of yore. I'm here for, uh... I'll be damned. <laughs> Look who's there! It's the little kitty goat sent by the stiff-necked gnat to rob me of the explosives! I'm not all warmed up after the nap, but it's still gonna be enough for you. <laughs> this is who I am! Mushroom's blood is still warm as the girl in a peculiar mask leaves his lair. Isn't that a lovely scene? Well, I guess I'm not the only peculiar looking person around. Hi, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. See who you are. See what you did. Look, I can explain. Never do that. Not in front of me. Whispers can be extremely loud if you know where to listen. Don't mind the poor soul here. He will grow back anyway. That is how mushrooms are. Coming here was a dead end, though. You can deliver the package later. But at the end of the day, that's not what gets you past the bridge. I don't quite... Your fellow mushrooms and I made a deal to get rid of the dragon. The dragon? is just an idea, a facade to the real problems of the forest. Following the trail of honey would be the first step towards dealing with them, without making so much unnecessary noise. Oh, I get it. The operation goes undercover. So, where does this trail start, exactly? On the offering site, under the mill, in front of the so-called dragon's den. Take this pot of honey, plant a lure, take cover, and see who shows up. I'm sure the result may surprise us. You may want to seek me out after you're done there. Some princess's beauty sleep may be just about to end. Hmm. Let us proceed with the investigation then, Mr... I'm a man of shadows. Make sure to never turn your back on them. Masked girl. 
Is this the mushroom you killed? What happens when it grows up? It's between us. Serial killers. You kill it again. And again. And again. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. No! Fish. I should make myself a fishing rod one day. Point. Try something else. Time for that yet. So not safe.
Nose Camp. Well done. This right place, right time. Keep quiet. <laughs> How nice. Someone came to dinner. Too bad he didn't give us a chance to tidy up the place first. So much dirt everywhere. I guess we need to at least sweep the floors. <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Get over here, you little piece of shit. <laughs> they can't resist it. <laughs> Take care of them. artifact of great power but sure it makes it easier to take care of the trash but, but what was it even doing here this thing's got a mind of its own it found you it'll be back if you need it so we're bound to stick together if you thick and then yes i'll ride it wildly in the pale moonlight and howling wind and uh... are you finished don't push it, princess. the bed.
one huge toad. Kiss it. What? Why? You know, frogs and fairy tales. <sighs> And a fat wisp's wing, a goat's bile, and a raven's quill. I have a spider, a Sherlock or two, a serpent's scale. Hmm, the dragons will do. Did you hear that too? Oh, I was hoping for a prince. Odd. Levers apply. Keep on spinning my thread. You don't need to be a prince. A garden ornament is just enough. Oh, what's up? How did you get here? Three baby teeth and a fat wisp's wing. A goat's bile and a raven's quill. I have a spider, a Sherlock or two, a serpent's scale. Hmm. The dragons will do. Oh, oh, oh. Spit it out already. But we've never met. Oh, he thinks you're her. She must have been here. Zora, do you know where she... Uh, where I went when we met last time? Some of us die for nothing. Some of us live for nothing. The wisdom of Gnolls. Wisdom? How? Who would have thought? <sighs> so quick to judge. Uh, it bit me. Oh, I can feel the poison. I need a cure. So, oh, this must be the dragon's den. Time to drop the lure somewhere around.
now for some hiding spot. See what happens. What? Who's that? Hey, there's one. Are you looking for something here? Oh, oh, oh um, me? <laughs> Would I look for honey? I, I, I don't even like honey. I never said you were looking for honey. Oh, uh, neither did I. Listen, kid. Uh, my name's Twig. What are you really doing here, Twig? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, oh, trying to save Blossom, my sister. Oh, the dragon got her. She's in the cave. Oh, you gotta help me. Dragon, huh? Well, I might as well take a look inside. You sure? What's that noise? Well, the terrible dragon, of course! Huh? These arrows are dripping with honey. Could they be... the fabled sticky arrows? Whoa. Too bad there are so few. Did she really go there? She sure did. You have to jump down now. Jump down? There? You've got to be kidding me. Well, don't worry. There's another way out. Blossom, are you there? Take it easy. I'm going for her. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. You're not the only one. Twig, I'll get you for this. <laughs> oh, you're not going anywhere. Here, yeah. kill yourself. Excuse me? No! Go away! <laughs> Pee-wee, you can't have any more honey, or he'll... 
bite your head off. Your feet, Pee Wee. One way or another. I can see that upset stomach of yours is killing you, but that's no reason to treat your guests like that. Wait a minute. You're not a real dragon. You're just a... an imp. But bigger and with... Well, you sure don't look like a regular imp to me. An imp? Maybe a long, long time ago. Peewee, right? What happened to you? Peewee! Oh, oh. oh, and his brother Leewee were looking for food. <laughs> for their tribe. Oh, went deeper than ever before. And uh, got taken by the roots. <gasps> oh, the roots gave them strange thoughts. Who <laughs> gave them hunger? Who <laughs> made them see terrible things? Who <laughs> made them see her? Huh? Shut your goddamn gob, Pee Wee, or I'll stuff it with more honey. 
Um, is your brother somewhere around? <gasps> Lee Wee? <laughs> no, he got out. <laughs> Escaped the roots. <sighs> Went home, no doubt. <laughs> the sacred grove. <laughs> then the children came. You mean the little mushrooms? <laughs> they said they'd give Pee Wee a share of honey if he helps them get more of it. <laughs> oh, if he makes <laughs> dragon noises. Mm. Liquid gold rules the world. Oh, Pee Wee, so full. <laughs> Can't have any more, but oh, please, one more final sip before. If that's what's best for you, here. Oh yes. So sweet, so... Uh, oh, take a uh, 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 step back! Uh. <laughs> Holy shit. You heard what he said. The Roots did this to him. Dragon. I guess it's no more. No time for that yet. Still not safe. Queen of the Unstoppable Empire, demand proof of your loyalty. I want you to slay the birds in the name of the Ant Queen. Bring me five feathers to prove your zeal. I shall prepare the offering in no time, Your Highness. Mm. Are the birds dead as they should be? Where are the trophies? I shall prepare the offering in no time, Your Highness. dead as they should be. Where are the trophies? My queen, I have fulfilled this task already. Please, accept the trophy I present you. I see you are no stranger to the art of war. This will not go unawarded. Thank you. 
I'll return once I'm ready. Oh, not you again. What the? Listen. The cat says that the stone says that one of the stonelings fell into the river. It'll turn into a useless goldfish if it stays in the water for too long. We can't let that happen. You'll need to fish it out, and for that, you'll need a rod with a golden line. They say one of the red roses hid the line years ago, and no one has ever seen it since. Are you serious? Do any of us look like we're joking? But... Find the red rose. That's what the stone said, and that's what we're gonna do. A Brabok, minus a mortal soul, makes a Shellock. Mm-hmm. And? Their souls trapped in between, awaiting their chance. We've all been there. I'm not taking its life for my own needs. Take that, you bunch of crooks. Ant invasion called off. At least, around here. Blessed be your gifts, mighty forest spirit. May your paths always be filled with plenty. May your hand be just, but your she is patient.
Quite a lot of them, too. <sighs> Watch out for that noise. One problem solved. Oh, I feel sick. I need a cure. Hi, miss. Fancy seeing you again. Miss, I'll be honest with you. If I don't get sticks and stones to break old bones, soon there won't be any room left for new corpses. I already have some stones, but sticks are illegal in the underworld. Do you think you could discreetly 
Help me out with uh, five sticks? Y yeah. It so happens I might just have some top tier quality sticks for you from under the table. Thank you so much for your good deed, miss. If you ever end up dead, there will be a cozy place down there for you. You have my word. See the rose? Keep the bow hidden. They're easy to scare. Gotta see what it's looking at. The sparks blow them away. says, the stone says, that's the one. We don't have much time. Put it on a stick and we're good to go. The cat said- The cat says that the stone said. But what is it that you don't understand in this sentence? Down the river. It's a carp, not a goldfish or a stone ring. Well, no wonder the stone got that wrong. He doesn't even have real eyes or ears. What? Wait a minute. <clears throat> you might as well eat the fish. It's not like it's going to grant you three wishes. Or any wishes. Let's get out of here.
weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. First. There you are. We heard a loud explosion. <laughs> Did you? There was no dragon in there. Just a fat, gluttonous imp. <laughs> See, Jack? Smoke and mirrors. Greed poisons men's souls and minds. <laughs> Just because there was no dragon in there doesn't mean there isn't any. Or maybe she slew the beast, but she's just too humble to take all the glory, huh? <laughs> anyway, we fixed the bridge just as promised. And here's something more for the effort. Yes, some very special sticky arrows. I think you'll figure out how to craft more of them easily. Plans for sticky arrows. I've heard of mighty hunters who made them. That knowledge was long forgotten. Oh, slowing the enemies down will surely give me an upper hand. Unless it's the witch who... The witch? What are you talking about? The witch is long gone. Um, you know, Baba the witch. You must have heard of her. People talk about her all the time. Ah, we know what you speak of, girl, but... Baba, as you put it, is no witch. It's something far darker. Baba. Baba. Ooh, that's a hell of a name, though. Anyway, good luck and take care. Oh, and see you around. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon enough. <laughs> Ah, nice little souvenir. Hm. We'll look good on a shelf. <gasps> what is that? Another trinket. Hm. Tells a different story, doesn't it? did fix the bridge. Hmm. Took them a while. <gasps> there it is. Is it true what folks say? That spirits can carry lost memories. Dragoy, I'm coming for you. Oh, 
razie... Nie widzisz. Idzie po tym szlaku z okruchów. There's something in there. It looks a bit like him. This is getting me closer to Zora.
You don't need to be a prince. A garden ornament is just enough. Three baby teeth and a fat wisp's wing. A goat's bile and a raven's quill. I have a spider, a Sherlock or two. Serpent scale. Hmm. A dragon's will do. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. Dracoy did turn out to be a jerk, but even he deserves better. Oh, does he? Is your memory playing tricks on you, princess? See? Now hunt him down to get the memory. I'd have to make him stand still for a while, but... See the little guys on the trees?
Navidad all there. Every year, when the day becomes equal with the night, the people from the village would prepare to send the old bad winter into the great beyond. Meaning, they would try to kill winter. Good luck with that. That year was much different. There would be no joyful celebrations, as a series of unfortunate events has cast its shadow upon the village. For the young, however, the old tradition was more than a practice of faith. Some teenagers decided to break the ban, each for a reason of their own. Drago seemed oddly reluctant to go deeper into the woods that day. Yet Zora, the bolder one of the twin sisters, wasn't going to give up on the plan she had. I'm going anyway. You two can take care of the statue here. Drago and Yaga had been friends for years, but there was clearly something more subtle between them as well. Uh. Why fall in love when you can fall asleep? Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Drago and Yaga, yes. There they are. My folk said we shouldn't build the effigies anymore. Now that Baba's back, said Drago. <laughs> but I made up this story that this time we're making it to ward off Baba. Not the winter. <laughs> and, and guess what? They didn't mind anymore. You need to be careful, Yaga. Your people talk trash, and you probably don't realize what kind of crazy ideas they can come up with when they fear for their children's lives. Yaga wasn't really listening. All she could think of was a tiny gift she brought for Dragoi. Her heart pounded when she reached for it. The boy glanced at Yaga's mask. Take it off. Just for once. No! She answered and flinched, but he wouldn't quit insisting. Uh, Dragway! No! Oh, will you stop playing the goddamn prude? You're a lunatic, just as they say you are. He cried out violently. She couldn't believe her ears. She used to call Dragoi a friend. Oh, whatever. Let's go. We have to find Zora. But I think I know where she's at. Granted Dragoi as he stood up. A wounded pride tempted him to do something he would regret until the very end. As they walked through the... Oh, mysterious this and that. Oh, here's a good part. After leading the way for a good while, the boy stopped in the middle of a clearing. Go! A pack of men from the village jumped out of the bushes and took the dazed girl by surprise. You've made up your mind after all. That's a good boy, said one of the men. <sighs> Treachery plagues the lesser minds, doesn't it, Dragoi? Light the fire and bring in the gold. Time to cleanse this waif of the witch's touch. As Yaga looked at the scapegoat brought by the villagers, a familiar voice grew in volume in the back of her head. You've let them treat you like trash all these years. And now you're even gonna let them cut you open? Let them burn you alive? Let me answer this for you, princess. The hell out of my way. Scapegoat. You always saw me as the perfect scapegoat. Monster. You always saw a monster. In me. Now I can give you all you've ever wanted. Just get out of my way. Stop her! 
want me to hold still? No. No, 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 no! Get out of my way! Watch out for the fire! I'm catching fire. Today, it consumes you. It consumes your homes. It consumes your whole world. I will. But that... No! Get out of my way! You've been calling me a foundling! Freak! The names have been growing old on me, so you kept coining me once. The witch's eye in the village. You leave me. No choice. I'll go right through you. Breaking your bones. I'm crushing your skulls. But you can never spread that faith again. I said, Get out of my today! I am fire. The one you've been trying to ignite all these years. And all I needed was a single spark. You want to hide? Here in the woods, you can't hide from fire. Come bask in the light, inhale the heat. Isn't it what you wanted? And if you get burnt, the flames swallow you whole. If you suffer a painful death, that's the price I will to pay. Get out of my way, or your fists, your sticks. Stones and your iron will meet their match. They will melt and vanish in fire. I'm willing to pay. Yaga, can you hear me? He's all right now. Zora, is it you? Yes, silly duck, it's me. See, we're just a few steps from the Red Oak. You're safe here. They went the other way. And they won't try anything again. Not when I'm around. They think I... That Volko and Slavitsa... We'll know what happened to them soon enough. I think I know where to look. Where's... Where's Dragoy? That old weasel. Must be on his way back home already. Dragoy... We haven't seen him since that day. Hello? Who's the... Is it... Is it you? No. No, it can't. No, no. Stop! Wait. No! What? Well, oh no, please, not my mask. Oh. 
the red oak. I'm almost there. That's the place, all right. The red oak. Our hiding place. No sign of Zora, though. Look around. He is here. The one who doesn't judge. All I see is the void inside. Could say the same about you. He won't judge you, but he will feed on your past and the souls you've brought. Be brave, Princess. Another mask. It looks a bit like the old one. Can I have it? It's still not enough. You gotta take it back home. Home? Ugh, your sister. She said she knew how to find the missing kids, right? So she went looking for them? Oh. Of course. A way to find my sister leads through the... through the rest of my lost friends. I need to find out what happened to them. As if you didn't know already. <sighs> anyway. You're taking a trip down the memory lane, princess. You will see. You will remember. The seal. Take it to the hut. While you still can. Can you hear it? It's like the legends are knocking on our doors. See this old statue? Uh-huh. An idol of some ancient god. Pay your respects and shoot it. <laughs> old gods are dead. You are alive. He's waiting for you. I know. Very nice. Just make sure to dust it off once in a while, will you? You know what to do. I said I knew. Sheesh, what's gotten into you, princess? Nothing, it's just... Look, I wonder who... Who I am? Seriously. Is it true what people say? That I'm the witch's eye in the village? Witch's eye? <laughs> princess, please. Witches or barbers, it doesn't really matter. So, 
Are you? Baba? <laughs> Gonna give me wrinkles. You actually can be funny sometimes. But Dragoy's death. Wasn't it you? Wasn't it me? Uh, think what you want. Now, press the seal. I'm not here to do what you tell me. I have to go after my friends. I need to find Zora. Taking over the hut means ridding the land of the roots. And that means you're gonna reach all the memories you need. So yeah, you are here to do what I tell you. Fine. Another path has opened here. Question ever asked. Are you blocking this, son? Wait a minute. The cat speaks? Oh, come on! You gotta listen to it. Take, for example, the biggest mystery of the universe. The meaning of life. It's all there. Don't you want to hear it? Either you move, or the sun will. I have all the time. Hey there, furry friend. I don't remember you being all that chatty before. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard the two of you having... Um, well, see you later then. He's either messing with me or I'm losing it. Or both. <laughs> since I've lost been here. Two years ago, during Midsummer Night. Ah, <sighs> new land, new possibilities, new children to snatch. <sighs> Jeez, girl, I'm kidding. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. I think I'm getting used to it. 
Oh, can you speak louder? I found you here, miss. I need expertise from someone from the above. Mr. Lava, it's good to see you too. What happened? One of the souls won't rest until it gets its eye back. Supposedly, a rose stole it. Can you believe it? What can this mean? The red roses are demons which take the eyes of the misers. Then they make the eyes look at the most prized possessions forever. I, I think... If the soul got over losing that possession, the rose would die, and the soul could finally rest. Oh, it's curious. I've never heard of these demons. Then again, they've been breeding like crazy lately. Seems like there's a new one every day.
a shithead quick. He sure is. Well, get a broom. Then he won't be. Bullseye. He's one lucky bastard. Would have been a lot worse if I got to him first. Blessed be the world tree, its crown in the heavens, its root in the underworld. Cat says that the stone says that... Yes. I think I get it by now. You can just tell me what the stone says. Perhaps he'd like to get a little more talkative about what he's doing here. He's blocking the way again. Yeah. And he won't budge. I can see that. But why? He moves for no man. That's why. Right. Just tell me what I've got to do this time round. Sounds like he could use a hand on the upside-down bridge. You mean... that bridge? He wants me to climb it? Mm-hmm. You'll know more when you get there. And otherwise, he won't let us through? You can't move mountains if you can't move yourself. Oh, the stone said that. Ugh, obviously. I mean, the cat said obviously. I guess I'll go now. That upside down bridge has always given me the chills. And now the stone wants me to climb it. <sighs> May your hand be just, but your she is patient. Feels good to help. Are we done here, oh gracious one? Oh, how hard's my game to play. For Baruta is my name. <laughs> he is the one who weighs the dwellers, judging them with her own soul. Why'd she fear the one who offers only that which helps us all? I know this old devil. Watch out for his words. What does he want? Business. But you can refuse. 
Heed me, heed, for I will say it once. <laughs> Maybe twice, if you insist. Clever bird who hunts with wits hardly ever shuns my gifts. What say you? I'd rather not. So be it. <laughs> I wonder what's the catch here. Queen's Legionnaires sure know how to build. Freedom with something more punchy. about these mad ants running Emakil across the land. A real menace they are. Ants, you say? I might have heard something. Why are they such a problem for you? I can do work because of them. They eat all the bodies before I can drag them underground. This does not look good in the records. Most of the time, I'm faster than them, but I'm just one larva, and there's a whole legion of them. If only I could somehow slow them down. I think honey would do the trick. But getting it without getting stung can be quite a challenge. 
Wish me luck. <laughs> Did you figure out anything about this ants, miss? The ants won't be able to resist honey. And it'll keep them in one place for as long as you need. Honey? That's a great idea, miss. Hopefully, that's not against the underworld regulations. What's down there? Feels good to help you, little one. <laughs> Thank you. 
How many more are there inside? If only we had something sticky to seal that hole with. Ironic. the dwellers, judging them with her own soul. Why'd she fear the one who offers only that which helps us all? I know this old devil. What does he want? Business. Heed me, clever. What's... I'd rather not. So... Levers of life keep on spinning my thread.
<sighs> oh, I forgot to thank you. The honey's working miracles for these ants. It's so good I started thinking about getting it from the bees by myself. But I don't really know how. And, uh, well, since you've given me some already, I figure out that uh, maybe you could teach me how to get it. The bees appreciate flower offerings. Whenever you are by a beehive, try presenting them a red herb. Or maybe some flower more popular in the underground. They'll share some honey with you. Oh, well, all the flowers that grow in the underworld are hideously ugly and smell disgusting. So maybe I can find a nicer one up here. I'll try it. Thank you. Stops now, my friend. Let mine carry on the beat. How about this one? Hmm. A stick bug spine. All honey from bees. From what I have sown, I'll give you what I need. <sighs> nope. Not this one either. now? So I can go back and just follow the trail up the hill? Nope. He'll be there. Huh? How? Is he so fast, or...? That's stone-cold logic, princess. It might be too much for you. Now, listen. The stone says... How do you know what he's saying without the cat? I got the hang of it. Learned as we go. Anyway, he says... Hard times are upon the stones. Hard? Even for the stones? The world moves too fast. Crumbles, erodes. Some things slither in through the cracks. And the stonelings are still soft here and there. They need to harden on all sides. That's why they came to the Upside Down Bridge. And now... They're stuck. Sounds serious. What do you mean, they're stuck? The stones only move when there's no one looking at them. So... So, when there's no one not to look at them, they can't move. We have to find them on the bridge and not look at them so they can move. Seriously? Stone-cold logic, princess. Hurry up. 
The Stonelings will turn into useless shooting stars if they stay on the bridge for too long. We can't let that happen. Deja vu. Stonelings, right. Just look away, remember? Sure. I'm not seeing you, Stonelings. Just admiring the view. Looking up. I mean, down. It moved. It works. Another one. Here you go. Thunder. May your light show me the way. Keep me free as the birds in your sky. Buddy. move now. I mean, it seems like they do. They, um, appear in different places when you don't look. So, I guess that's what we wanted? I appreciate that. Um, that's it? It's a stone, princess. They ain't really all that emotional. He looks grateful, but his stone-cold heart won't let him show it. Let's move. <sighs> Wait, this spirit reminds me of Slavitsa. Does it mean she's gone too? Maybe she can lead me to my sister. Thank you. 
Did you take on some weed pulling job or what? <laughs> Tunnel's collapsing because of these awful roots, like, like I told you before, miss. If only the tunnels had better support. Oh, the sticks aren't really enough. How about some sticky sticks? Would they do any better? This could be it. Do you maybe know someone who knows someone who could fetch me these? Well, if we keep this between you and me... It's like it never happened, miss. I'd wink, but you wouldn't notice, which is why I'm telling you this. It is. It really was Levitza. Ready? Tickle your fancy, princess. I guess we don't have a choice. We? You don't. Follow her.
Levitza, they never got along. And you probably never will. <laughs> the Bobox, remember?
At the beginning of the summer, during the shortest night of the year, the youth partakes in traditional celebrations of Midsummer Night. Before the curfew had been set up, the young would roam the forest freely. As the flower crowns drifted away, so seemed the innocence of their childhood. But let's start from the beginning. An eternal battle between Perun and Veles, the God Brothers, has resulted in the creation of... Wade. Brothers. Wasn't it a tale about... Sisters? Hmm, let me just... Oh yes, that's more like it. Back to the sisters, or at least one of them. <clears throat> Yaga and Slavica never got along. Things have only gotten worse since Volko went missing a year earlier. Do you think Baba's really back? And that she snatched Volko? But you are not scared of Baba. Almost like you knew nothing here could harm you. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> sure you don't. When the flower crowns were ready, each girl set hers on the water. Yaga was not in it for tradition's sake. She had something to prove. However, as her crown was slowly getting closer to the boys, an alarming realization came. If he picks it up, he'll approach her. Is it yours, Yaga? Her fears came true. It actually was Dragoi. Amid an awkward silence, Yaga struggled to avoid what she secretly sought. It's my sister's. She spat out finally. Another thing on her failure resume. Zora's? Are you sure? And, as always, Zora came to the rescue. Of course it's mine. We are now bound by it. So tonight, we're looking for the femme flower together. Are you coming, Yaga? Wait. Are all... all, all three of us going? Oh, would you rather go alone and let Bubba chew the flesh off your bones? <laughs> they walked and walked and... I always keep walking, but you already know that. Soon enough, Yaga left Zora and Dragoi behind. She decided to wait for them to catch up, but someone else did instead. You can probably guess who, can you? Well, well, a little ugly bird lost its way in the forest. Or perhaps you've got your nest nearby. The name, Gordana. Does it ring any bells? <laughs> you don't think I believe you and Zora are orphans of some deceased relative? Or that it's a coincidence that my... That Volko went missing right after you two had a fight? He could have lost his way. Or had an accident. Or maybe Baba. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Yaga, please. I'm too old for fairy tales. What did you do to him? Stay down until you're ready to talk. Now, Yaga, this is your moment. My, my. Look who hits the rock bottom. Again and again and again and again. <sighs> what do you want me to... It's time for you to hatch. Or rot here. Forever. Sometimes, when I'm all alone, I lock myself in a thick shell. It's so hard for me to breathe. So hard to make a sound. 
I open my mouth to stare at myself. All I see is an empty shell. Where are you? Where's my... My voice? Hiding. My eyes. Like I've been hiding from theirs. From their words. Their sticks and stones. Why do they hate me so much? Is it because I'm a foundling picked up in the woods? Because of my birthmark? When Baba snatched the kid. I was the one to blame. Why? Why can't I scream? Where are you? My voice. I want to hear your confession, shithead! Wherever I look, there's always me. Me. Hiding behind my mask. Me. Hiding behind my sister's back. Me. 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 I'm falling. I tried. I tried so hard to find you. But trying is all I could ever do. Sometimes, the step you fear the most is the one that will. Set you free. them, trying to catch every teardrop in fear. They don't laugh anymore. They're dying there, in my heavy tears. They say how wrong they were. Nobody scolds me. But all the stones are gone. I'm the center of the world. Just 
see huts, barns, and little gardens. For the first time, my heart stops, and I can almost feel the return of a world that was woefully lost. for you every day I'll rot in hell or maybe I'm already there are you there can I fly now open your mouth and teach me how to endure pain and death and loneliness if I have to go down, look for treasure at the bottom. I am done. In a dream such as this, I can be anyone that I want. It means I can also be myself. It feels fine. <sighs> Yaga, what? How'd you get out of this pit? You want to mess with a murderer? <laughs> Look, I didn't really call you. Slavitsa, I wish I never had to see you again. Yaga, are you there? Damn it. I'll deal with you later. It was the last time anyone saw Slavitsa. What? Who's... Oh no! No! Please! No! No! No, no! No, 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 no! Are they all dead? All dead because of. Why does Baba always think those who crossed me? Can you see him? Again. You're not Baba, are you? I feel you're not. It's good to feel anything. You're... You're in my mask. Or... You are the mask. I am with you as you are with me.
Whoever you are, whatever you did, what, whatever I did, it can't stop me from finding my sister. Still can't get by without her. No. This time it's me who's helping Zora, not the other way around. I'll walk the path paved with bones if I need to. Wow. It's almost like... Like... Huh. Get back to the hut. Oh, it wasn't so bad this time. Getting used to things that boggle small minds. Looking for someone. <laughs> well, if it isn't the odd couple again. Good to see you too, girl. Things have been better after you helped us with that missing honey. Yeah, missing because of... Because of the greedy imp. Thought we got it sorted out before. All right, all right. Keep your shirt on. So, how long has it been, sweetie? Decades? Ages? It all happened this year, Jack. <sighs> There's nothing as boring as the truth. Right, Bor v. Borko? <laughs> Spoil sport. You two haven't changed a bit, I see. Something has, though. It's strangely quiet here today. Ah, this thing. Some of the kids have gone missing. Three little mushrooms. To be precise. These are strange days. Everyone's losing someone, it seems. Them? Missing? They set off on their own. Wanted to make their way in the world. Build a house or two. Straw, sticks, and bricks. Huh. Ignorant punks. I just hope Sprout can keep them from going astray. Sometimes leaving your home is a matter of life and death. Anyway... Sprout, you said? The most popular one of the bunch. The big bad wolf. Orders them around. He's also a bit like you. Still trying to find his true nature. <clears throat> the kids may have gotten themselves tangled up in a silly search for some magical flower. <sighs> Mama Jumbo. The flower does exist. But it's not a thing you simply pluck and put in a vase. Someone has to stop the kids. Who knows how dangerous the flower might be? Mm, tall tales. With the roots sprawling all across the forest, those kids could have gotten themselves into all kinds of trouble. Well, Mr. Grouchy is right about that last thing. We haven't heard from the younglings for a while now. And they sure are quite loud, usually. I can almost tell what you're going to say next. But... You got us, girl. And I hate to admit it, but we could use some help here. Yeah, we could use some help here. You mentioned the kids went after some kind of flower. Did you by any chance mean the fern flower? The one from the old legends? We did mean just that, indeed. <laughs> You did, Jack. People say it blooms only on Midsummer Night, but no one has ever really found it. And you're telling me it's out there somewhere? Of course it is. Oh, I bet your people also say the flower can grant its founder riches beyond imagining. Hm. That would be so human. The flower's just an excuse for all the village youth hoping to get lucky when they go into the woods together. Well, no offense, girl. Uh, none taken. Still, the flower's got a peculiar influence, which is to be protected at all cost. 
It mustn't be pit. Never. I'm sure you'll know what I mean if you ever see or hear it. So, you think the kids' lives may be in peril? No doubt about it. And it feels like this is just the beginning of trouble. A forest is changing, becoming twisted. Ironically, it's no good news. <sighs> if only Cortana was still around, she would know what to do. Cortana, you say? The witch, back in the day. She knew how to rule the forest with an iron fist. No one dared to oppose her. The wise, gentle protector. She cared for those in need. Tended to the wounded, fed the starved. As unanimous as ever, aren't you? Well, some truths may have two sides to them. And some may only be true for a few, and not for others. Listen, I still haven't found the person I was looking for, so... Sometimes you need to see two other people's problems first, to solve your own in the end. What Borvi really means is that there'll be something in it for you if you help us. Something that might help you on your journey. Especially if you're gonna come across... Uh... uh... Baba. <sighs> yes, you may want to bulk up a bit, girl. Fine. I might give it a look on the way. But no guarantees, alright? Good to hear it. Here, take this basket to carry the kids when you find them. They will fit. They're thin. Try looking for some clues around a small camp at the foot of the hill. That's where we've last heard them from. And whatever happens, just remember, our deeds follow us all the time. Like shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Can be just, but your she is patient.
The fairy rings. This is where they were headed. Waste of time. Children must have stayed here for a while. I'll take a look around look for any clues. Bingo. Hmm. Great Plains. <laughs> no time for that yet. Still not safe. Another one to throw us out of tune? It seems everyone and everything speaks now. Ah, we speak, we shout, but most importantly, we sing. Sing? All I've ever seen of your kind is biting. Don't mistake those stray self-seedlings with the sentient beings we've become. Ah. Isn't the world changing lately? One day a thought came, chiming quietly down below, and once it turned into a song. We knew we would never let it go. <sighs> Few are lucky enough to find any meaning to their lives. That mushroom spawn is probably still looking. Haven't you seen them by any chance? The kids? One here, a loud little ruffian, lazy enough to put together only this sad excuse of a house. Nevertheless, we couldn't let him stay here with all that ill intent of his. You mean finding the fern flower? Wasn't it just a myth? <laughs> That's a good one! Real good! The flower! Let's just say, we can't live without each other. And the kid? That scamp's up to no good. We have to stop him before he puts an end to our song. So soon, after it began. <laughs> so, first we huffed and we but to no avail. Then we sang. Oh, I get it. You wanted someone gone, so you just sang. Problem solved. You wouldn't joke around like that if you were inside that shack the moment it collapsed. Sadly, the kid got away. At least I'm on the right track. Where was he headed? 
down the valley west from here. Quite a walk, but maybe you can get him. You have legs. Oh, he mentioned something about two of his brothers, too. They're all out there, we suppose. Now, if you don't mind, I still have to get ready for the big night. For the flower. dangerous around. Time for that. What's going on here? The turd won't leave his shack! We must not let those kids think of the flowers! Take our lives! That won't be a problem. I'll take care of him now. Yeah, take him away! We can't afford any mistakes! Not tonight, when we're so close! Oh, I'm not leaving for you to eat me! Sprout's gonna be back any minute now. He wouldn't leave me like that. Hey! won't even get out! Remember what the other plant did? Oh, you mean it sang? Hmm, worth a try. Um, have you possibly tried? Of course we've tried! Puffing and buffing! All for nothing, though! No, no, you may want did to... Did you even see that shack? I can't tear it! No, oh, now listen up, Daisy. Oh? Let them pick that flower, and you'll witness all of your relatives suffer in unimaginable agony and die one by one. Oh no! Then your juice will begin oozing out of your every pore as your own mind melts down in an overwhelming pain. In the end, you'll rot in misery just because you won't open your face, pathetic weed. That wasn't very harmonic of you! Uh, no, no, all I meant was that you may want to try singing. Oh, singing? Oh, this actually does hit some right notes. Why didn't you say so in the first place? God, he's going calm. That seemed to work just fine. Can't you keep it up? 
got kindness with all those winds around. Still needs a little push, though. No, no! Leave me alone, you... Oh, you don't look like a... Ma'am, are you here for the fern flower, too? No, actually, I'm here for you. You messed things up pretty bad, you know that? Oh, ma'am, I, I didn't want to. It was Sprout. He finally went after the fern flower. He made two of us come along, but when I couldn't keep up, he left me here to be eaten by those horrible plants. Sprout's one piece of work, he sure is. But he's also our brother. We should stop him from getting into more trouble. <sighs> Tell you what, we'll look for the two of your brothers together. Whew, thank you. I just hope it's not too late. I guess we're going to find out soon. In the basket you go. Isn't it a... a villa? Mm -hmm. The place is haunted. Might as well throw stones at her. This needs a little hocus. Yeah. Now shoot! <laughs>
I'll return once I'm ready.
Her heart stops now, my friend. Let mine carry on the beat. Levers of life keep on spinning my thread. something about this song already. What's so important about it? The song? It's everything! It is the word! It is the world! And it is the only way for the fern to bloom, fruit, and give off seeds! It happens only once a year! We can't waste the chance! I huffed and puffed, but all in vain! I can't chase this one away! They're too close to the fern flower already. Help us! Help us! Please! Try singing. It worked with the other house. Little kid, let me in. Back by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Let me go. Let me go, you lousy weeds. Do I look like a plant to you? Huh. Anyway, there's nothing you can do to stop Sprout from getting the flower tonight. I mean, maybe we did all the work for him, and maybe he tricked us into staying inside these houses as decoys. Mm hmm. Waiting for the butt. But all in all, only people like him can make something of their lives, don't they? I hope he makes his wish come true. But he's not getting any closer to it if his life's in danger. All right, where did he go? <sighs> he said something about a remote clearing up north, sheltered by cliffs. Or rocks. Or... Get in the basket. We're going after him. I need a cure. So this is... Yes, it's him! And... 
He's not looking too well. Oh, my knee! It hurts so badly! And it's the only knee I've ever had! <laughs> I was so close. I even had my brothers build those stupid houses. <laughs> Hard work. It's the only way to distract these pathetic fools from the fact they're slogging their guts out for some scraps. Hey! That wasn't too nice. Strong words coming from someone in dire need of help. What did you hope the flower to give you anyway? <coughs> I wanted to have everything. Everything seems a lot. Well, power, luck, all the things that make me somebody. Oh, all for nothing. I won't make it out of here alive if I don't use up the flower's power on my wounds. <sighs> what a waste. Doesn't it come with a price? I mean, picking the flower. <laughs> a price? <laughs> Just a stupid singing plant or two. Or ten. Or maybe. Well, I don't know. I can't really count all that well. <coughs> See the plants? They should be singing already. <coughs> to make the fern bloom. And what are they doing? Snoring. You mushrooms must have tired them enough to put them to sleep. Uh, wake, uh, wake them up. I need the flower. Make them sing. <coughs> All at once and clean. It's time for your grand performance. What? Oh, oh, right. Gotta make the fern bloom. <coughs> that works. <laughs> Two more to go. Wakey, wakey. It's, um, the middle of the night. <sighs> time to sing. Wait, I keep doing that. I can wait for one more. Oh, that! It's got more of that scum! Wake up, you weak little... What? What did you say? Um, nothing. It's singing time. Yes! Keep it up for just a while longer. for the same flower two years ago. The night Slavitsa went missing. She who brought the flowering now stands before us, and yet her mind is full of dissonance. I've never... Should you pick our flower, the gift of consciousness will be taken away from the choir. The song made us feel, and we shall feel no more. We shall be no more. Should you hold your hand, we will bear the fruit. 
The seed shall become sounds. Those shall fill the forest with harmony, ease the pain, bring upon joy. Yeah, the song. Sounds nice and all, but <laughs> who would care about some plants, right? I mean, Balvey and Jack will want to see me back, remember? And I'm not <sighs> ripe enough to wither away. Can't you just grow back? Mushrooms do grow back, don't they? And what if I don't grow back handsome enough? Nah, nah, waiting's not my thing. I was the only one to get this far. What was the other's hard work even for? Being left behind where they belong? Huh. I deserve to have it all. And you deserve to help me. Strong ones like us should stick together. Well, you sure are one piece of work, Sprout. Oh, I almost forgot. <coughs> if you save me, I'll tell you the greatest joke ever told. A joke? You heard it. A joke to make your day a bit brighter. We beg you, do not pick the flower. Thousands of voices will fall silent forever. Thousands of minds in unison will break down into a vulgar noise. <laughs> Think about yourself. We're so alike, determined and, and resourceful. Oh, and this joke is it's a real blast. You'll see. First you betrayed your brothers, and now you're ready to sacrifice an entire sentient race? And for what? Some fantasy you're not even sure is real? No. I'm leaving the flower be. For the greater good. It means more than one life. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You're not being serious, are you? <coughs> oh, oh, my time <coughs> here is almost over. I'll find it. I'll finally become somebody. <laughs> Good for you. Most people will never be so lucky. In old tales, a selfish lazy bone would always get their ass whooped in the end. So you went by the book? Okay. I like books. <sighs> oh, I'll, I'll miss Sprout. Well, at least the plants are okay. Morvy won't be happy when he finds out about Sprout. <laughs> he sure won't be. Fancy a chat, girl? You're back. We've seen and heard the flowers. <laughs> Haven't we, Borvy? What about the kids? Uh, they're in here. 
Ah, you little rascals. Have you... Wait. <laughs> One's missing. Where's Sprout? He... <laughs> he didn't make it. I, I don't understand. He got wounded. Too badly to move. I had to... Leave him. You did what? I had to. He... He, he got himself in trouble. That's it. <laughs> Nothing could be done. Why didn't you use the goddamn flower to heal him, if it's as magical as you all say it is? Use the flower, the fern flower, to save some whippersnapper? <laughs> Fade loves a good laugh. Oh, come on. He'll grow back. Maybe even a bit better than before. <laughs> That's what we mushrooms do. We always grow back. That's the word in the forest, right? I guess some songs are bound to end sooner than others. And some are pretty enough to keep them going. <laughs> now you're something, girl. Here's a small reward for the effort. Just get it over with. Are you done running errands for everyone around? Hold on. I know what to do. Take the hut, get the roots, blah, blah, blah. You can spare me the- No! <gasps> Something's wrong. Sheesh. What's gotten into you, princess? You out of your mind? Whatever. She's looking for. Oh, God. 
Lord! Blood. My blood. Spilled. Yet it keeps on flowing. Hurts like hell. But she seemed appeased. That's what counts. Wait, here goes another one. White as chalk, but not as brittle. Tales stronger than dead. In it can be written. Huh. It's bone. Actually worked. Was I underestimating you, Princess? Well, sometimes you could. I wasn't really asking for your opinion. See that chest? I lost without you. I know. Um, I was talking about. Let's move. Oh, yeah. The crystals. Have I ever told you about them? How I could be of any. Do we wear a mask? Or does the mask wear us? Uh, what do you. What lies behind it? Silver dawn. Golden dusk. I, I may have stumbled on my way once or twice, but I, I always do what's right. It's not. Who are you? Okay, I've had enough. You can go snatch boiled brats or yap around this place, whatever. We are leaving, and you are not stopping us. Bone of my bone. We tried. Didn't work. Gotta run. Um, I said run! Crystal arrow, quick! More 
Crystals! The idol! On the other side! That was close. How did we get there anyway? <sighs> the hut is fighting back. Don't sweat it. I won't let it happen anymore. Baba, she seems to be looking for some kids. And not just any kids. Her baby girls? You're thinking what I'm thinking? I do. And can't say I like this one bit. Anyway, you can't keep on getting us in trouble like that every time you try to speak up. Me? You couldn't spit out a word. <sighs> right. Every time you try to speak up. Ugh. So much running around after the cat, just to get home. How about simply ask him for directions? Mm -hmm. I'm dying to see it. <clears throat> Greetings, my dear hairball puking furry teleporter kitty cat. Sure, cataportation works just fine, but this time we've got something to prove here. Now. You will tell us the way to the Trail of Crumbs. Please. Mm-hmm. Right. He's sure going to answer. Well... Just continue down the path. <gasps> Past the old... I knew it! I knew... <coughs> I knew he could speak. <clears throat> Do you mind? Past the old burial ground. Then, look for the trail among the trees. You might be able to find it there, but then again, you might not. It can go either way, obviously. Personally, I'd have a bowl of milk instead. That's helpful. <clears throat> Piece of cake. What the... That's... That doesn't count! You and the cat must... I mean... This would go totally different if it was anyone else. Maybe. Maybe not. Besides... Princess... What have I got you for? <laughs> uh, but I told you he could speak. Meow. <sighs> Maybe it's better not to give it much thought. Your hand be just, but your she is patient.
hell happened here? And all is aflame, the force of our foes lie in rubble. And yet, the infuriating Creeper lives, depriving my men of their fleshy spoils. Creeper, my queen? The larva, bearing the bodies faster than the Legion can get to them. And the warlords are at their limits. Or are they? Tell me, human, how should I make them into super soldiers, efficient beyond nature? You and your legion are abominations of the natural order as it is. You shall get no advice, wretched queen. Then we will overcome our bodies with the discipline of our minds. Away with you!
chciałem te okruszki.
with the wrong mushrooms. Life. Keep on spinning my thread. <laughs> Just and righteous. I can't do this anymore. I'm too shaky to rest and too tired to work. I feel like I'm running on fumes here. It's not the first time I hear you being open. Help. It makes. I know. Your sister? Oh, did I mention looking for her does you good? Get off me. No surprise here, really. He had it coming for so long, didn't he? She's here for you, Volko.
You reap what you sow. Shall we? After you. Unwanted memory. Just one of many. Fuck! Ah! My mask! I've got to get it back. in the game. You know the drill.
As autumn nights lengthen, the forefathers' eve preparations begin. Great feasts for the late ancestors are held to buy their favor or consult their wisdom. But conjuring the dead is never a walk in the park, nor in the woods for that matter. Some spirits may just overstay our welcome. The young would build fires at the crossroads so the lost souls may know the way towards households eager to host them. Be careful. Baba will return if you misbehave. <laughs> the oldest in a group, Volko, dared to jest. Ugh, give us a break, Volko. No one has seen the witch in years. Interrupted Zora. Last you, shit brain. <laughs> a funny choice of words for someone whose job is scraping shit from the cesspits. A funny choice of words for a waif, ditched by her own mother. <laughs> she must have kicked you out as soon as she saw that vile mark on your mute sister's dumb face. Oh, stop picking on her, Volko, said Dragoy, trying to stand up for Yaga. That's what friends are for. Right, Dragoy? What did you just say, schoolboy? And just as the talk was about to reach its boiling point, it ceased uh, abruptly. Just let me... Uh, no, not the red riding, not the beauty, not the beast either. Uh, oh yes, that's... Why it ceased. Curiosity's prowess in killing cats is highly overestimated, but it did kill its share of nosy children. Luckily, this time it only let some inside the hut. Relax. The witch is gone for good. My old man knows what he's saying. <laughs> As the rest were snooping around, Yaga felt an unstoppable urge to examine the strange roots. The ground trembled beneath as a drop of her blood dripped down the thorns. Ooh, it sure is Forefather's Eve, isn't it, girls? Ooh, maybe we'll summon your real mom's spirit. Maybe she'll tell us who she slept with. <laughs> if she even knows. As the earth shook once more, Anger boiled within Yaga. May the spirits shatter the veils of secrets tonight. Let us know a thing or two about these two ugly bastards. The rage blooming within Yaga soon bore fruit to her inner strength to stand up to the oppressor. As the girl raised her clenched fist, everyone's eyes went on her skin. Can you see it? Let me just... Oh, crap. There. Now you see. Uh, what have you got there, weirdo? Meanwhile, the hut has awoken to its fullest. All that was left was to flee. She ran and ran. So I'll skip that... Oh, that's surprising. Not so fast, freak. <laughs> A little souvenir from the witch? As if you weren't cursed enough before. Now, you know what I'm going to do with you, don't you? As Yaga's story was about to come to a grim end, she heard a voice that would shadow her restlessly from then on. Isn't this the beginning of a beautiful friendship, princess? Look at you. A prey. A victim. An excuse. You've been all that. You've been my loudest scream. And my quietest whisper. Each of my sleepless nights and brightest daydreams. And those painful moments, torments, and fears. How many 
tears. How many tears you spill trying to escape the darkness. Your darkness. You are not ready. It's hard to see a way out of your own shadow. of your darkest secrets. Wherever you went, it followed. Slither like a snake. This black tail of yours. It still does. It's hard to see a way out. Always behind you, mocking you, wriggling around, striking blindly, hitting both the guilty and the innocent. Your shadow, your chance, the light in your dark. Your past, and your pedigree, and your destiny. To be more. To feel more. This black tail of yours. Control it, or it will snap your little neck. And crush you. And crush me. You to bend the road, make a turn. <sighs> it's hard to see a way out because you are not ready. You will be. I'm not... I'm not ready. It's okay, Yaga. It's okay now. Something has... I'm cold. Don't leave me. I won't. <laughs> don't leave me, Zora. Please don't leave me. I will never leave you. Ulko, I haven't missed him for a second. As a matter of fact, I was pretty far from missing him. Is this... <laughs> what are you? <laughs> You're not... You... You can't touch me! Freak! No! Get the... It's all for nothing. They're all gone. Zora, she must be... Please, no. always been me. I am the witch's eye. Probably even more than that. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's not gonna help. You... 
I figured you out. You have? You're here to cover my real face. Oh, princess. My ugly, vile face. You're a mask to hide the face of a murderer. Help me avoid justice. Justice? <sighs> no. But the truth is not far away. You're just still not ready to... Say it. Look, I... Say it! I... I can't. I don't want to. Not yet. You and your secrets. I'm not wasting any more time on them. I must keep going. I'll find her. One way or another. Tricks to power some ancient gods this time. I'm almost disappointed. Getting greedy, huh? There is something. You'll see when the time is right. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. It's gotta be this one. Call mm. me a saint, an angel, or a leech. And I will. Wow. That place. Finding yourself first. Hey, what's up, Borbon Jack? A uh, long time no see. <laughs> oh, hi, girl. So you came to listen to the song? <laughs> or to check if Sprout's not growing back, so you can make sure he doesn't. <sighs> Why do I have to form a single organism with such a moldy moaner? And I sometimes think that the roots took you a long time ago, Jack. Hmm. Good to see you two are holding up. Sure. Sure. Or 
At least we were. Why the blues? Anything wrong? Uh, it'd be easier to ask what's right. The roots spread at an alarming rate, taking our forest, our lairs, sometimes even us. Not feeling too well lately, huh? Um, Borvi probably means a giant taken by the roots that has awakened not far from here. You must have heard of him. <sighs> there are no borders the roots wouldn't cross. Living beings are not enough anymore. They take over even the ground, rocks, stones. What's next? The very foundations of the world? Yeah, our buddies are probably on it already. I hope they can get it under control. Hmm. But to make things worse, all of this befalls us in autumn. And we've got so little time left. So little time before we fall asleep. <sighs> It's, uh, getting chilly. <laughs> I know you guys are ready, and see what you're going for, but... My time is running over, too. And I still haven't found my... <sighs> sister? Wait, did you say sister? You heard it, Borvi? She's looking for her sister. A twin sister. Wait, what? Why didn't you say it's all about your twin sister in the first place? That's terrible. I can't imagine losing my... Um... You're right. I can't either, brother. <sighs> what was that line again? Sometimes you need to see to other people's problems first to solve your own in the end. Jack's right. You've solved some of our problems before. It's time for us to return the favor. You're welcome, princess. Wait, are you serious? You want to help me find Zora? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but uh, I've got an idea. We may not know a lot about people. There was someone who did, though. You know who I mean? Cordona. Yes, I, I keep hearing about her. But as far as I know, she's been long... Um... Jack, don't give the girl false hope. This whole... Forefather's Eve thing is... well... Uh... Thank you, Borvi. Yes, the Forefather's Eve is a time when we ask spirits for advice. Maybe you should try it too? So that's what it's about. The elders from the village used to consult the spirits that night. So you think you can... here, in the forest? Well, maybe not us, but we know the right people. Don't get your hopes up too high, but I guess it won't do any harm to talk to a professional. Well, what do you think? The least we can do for you, with the little time we still have before the autumn ends. And before the roots get us all. Don't you think there's got to be a way to stop the roots? Gordana probably knew of one. And what do... You... think. Me? What do you mean? What are you getting at? Anyone living long enough knows that the roots are the hut. The hut is the roots. It's pretty much the same. And you, well, you wear these masks. It's not really that hard to put all the pieces together. So you... you do know about the hut? Deep down inside, we're counting on you, girl. So am I, girl. I always thought autumn was the best time for mushroom picking. <coughs> I, uh, mean, the best time for mushrooms to thrive. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is. But you see for yourself, it's getting cold and days are getting shorter. Winter is coming. For us mushrooms, it's the time of farewells. The mycelium is forever. But we, well, we grow and we wither like everything else are you trying to tell me you you won't make it through the winter in some sense we will in another we won't <sighs> you know yaga everything happens in cycles they're a bit different for us mushrooms than for you humans and the current cycle 
is going to end soon. But the new one is about to begin. Provided the forest survives. All right. Time's running out. Let's do it. Good. Hmm. All you need is a gifted conjurer. Okay, well, let me let me think. Uh, hmm. There was one around a long time ago. I haven't seen him in a while, though. Can you remember his name? You know, the fishing fanatic, uh, uh, Harald? Eric? No, 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 it wasn't Eric. Oh, I know. Henrik. What? Henrik? But Borfi, Henrik, he drowned. Uh, he did what? Borvi, he drowned. If you get what I mean. Jack, don't you start again. I don't know what you mean, and honestly, I don't care. Well, you'll see for yourself, Yaga. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Henrik used to live near a small pond in the neighborhood. Ah, yes, the pond. Henrik loved to go fishing once in a while. That part couldn't be more accurate. So, maybe you can do the same? I'm sure as soon as you bait your hook near the old Henrik's pond, he will come and start with his usual, are the fish biting? <laughs> That'd be so him. Just mention our names. Henrik owed us a favor or two. That's an unusual way to find a person, but, well, whatever works, I'll go fishing. Father's night. Three years ago. Remember? It's getting chilly. This has to be the place. You think he'll be around here somewhere? There's something fishy about all of this. It's not the first time someone makes me fish for a weird reason. I don't know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guess it won't hurt to give it a shot. Henrik might show himself. A real goldfish? Oh no. Anything but a goldfish. Why? The old man's going to be... Wait a minute. These are just bones. What? Just bones? Where? Ah! 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 <coughs> huh? Here? No, I don't think so, man. I, I just don't think so, man. I, hell's got a whole different vibe, man. Well, this guy's something else. Huh. Well, um, you don't happen to know Henrik, do you? Uh, the conjurer? He used to live around here. Henrik? Who rings a bell, but... Oh, man. What was I saying? Jeez, I'm starving. Um, H Henrik, do you know where he is? Oh, yeah, Henrik, sure. What? Hey, no, 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 leave me alone, buddy. You catch yourself talking to the lady here? We'll do that later, man, I told you. Man. What? Who are you? Oh, um, just, you know, the other guys, um, never mind. Wait, what did you want? Oh, yeah, 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 Henrik. Fine, fine. Just, uh, 
Tell me one thing, would you? Are my eyes red? I feel like you're just so dry. Um, a bit, but not so much. They're all right, man. <laughs> Good. All right. All right. Now, what, 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 what was I? Oh, yeah. Take me to the fishbowl. We'll find Henrik. The fishbowl? Yeah, the fishbowl. In the chapel on the boneyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in your pocket. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So if I'll take you to the... Yeah, the fishbowl. The fishbowl. Got it. We ain't there yet, man. What's up, man? Where are you at? Oh, God. It's, it's, it feels so good. My old fishbowl. You put something into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. Put it into a fishbowl. <laughs> Did you know it's pure crystal? That's very impressive. Look, I really need to talk to Henrik, the conjurer. Fine, let's talk. Oh, I knew it. Oh, so you are Henrik? Well, I used to be, but man, retirement's just not for me. I miss the good old days. Oh, so what did you bring me here for, huh? You told me to bring you here. Yeah, right, right. Good thinking. But, uh, what you want from me? I hope this is gonna be good, man. Come on, hit me. I need you to bring a certain spirit back to this world so I can consult it. A very special spirit. Gordana. Borvi and Jack <laughs> said- Gordy, huh? Damn. Didn't even know she's been long. But hey, I, I haven't seen her anywhere. I, I mean, on the other side. Can you still try to look for her? She's got to be somewhere, and she might have the answers I need. Dude, there's so many places to look. You know, as much is above, that much is below. You get what I mean? Tell you what, though, you're lucky. You sure are a lucky one. This is the night. The night. The Forefathers' Eve. If there's still some life in these old bones, I'll get anyone, anywhere, any time. <laughs> I love to be back in action. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna perform the right, <laughs> right? <laughs> you gotta bring me some of Gordana's personal stuff. Not some junk, though. Gotta be at least two things that, um, show different sides of her. I don't really know too much about her. I wouldn't even know where to look. Uh, as far as I remember, two of her very special shell arcs, the silver one and the, the, the golden one, were still lying around somewhere. I'll just, uh, look here. Let me mark them on your map, man. Uh-huh. No, stop it, man. I can't just see him. Get lost, man. I ain't talking with your stupid ass. Oh, uh, sorry for that. They're, they're going crazy tonight. Who's they you're talking to all the time? Some voices in your head? No, the dead. Coming from all around the great beyond to pay a visit. Oh, so many faces I know. Being one foot, or, or uh, <laughs> one thin in the grave, gives you a way to make some you know, really odd friends. Not enough of this old fish rambling. What, what, what were we supposed to... Did those Shellocks really belong to Gordana? Sure. 
She used a hell of a lot of fancy juju and grigri. Charms for rituals. Vessels for keeping all the little souls and stuff like that. So, um, the, the, the golden shark, it shows her good nature, you know? Sadly, some nasty spiders got it years ago. They gotta be keeping it locked up somewhere on their turf. It, take a nice little walk northwest to get there. And there's also, uh, uh, ah, the silver shark. But man, you do not want to know what she used that one for. Last time I heard about it, some gnolls were holding it. But watch out for them, man. There might be some dark magic involved. Anyway, go northeast and look for some uh, ancient pillars. <laughs> Quite a lot of them, actually. Then bring both shellocks here. I'll be ready to roll. <sighs> okay. You'll have the shellocks in no time. Thanks, Henrik. Yeah. Knight wanted to see you uh, sometimes. Sir Knight is in distress. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, he was back in the summer. Oh, who knows how he fared back then?
Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Fortunate it would be to stumble up whatever aids Velus's busiest worker. But I really think you should ease up on that. Oh, it's been a while since I had one of these, miss. Thank you. Gotta get going now. I don't really have any time to ease up on anything. Lady, Sir Knight wanted to see you some time ago in the summer. Holy Lost your way, orphan? Greetings, venerable sir. Uh, I've combed the land far and wide looking for you, Squire. What is it that's troubling? We've got no time to lose. The giant. 
The giant! Gods, no. Where? The crystal elder giant has awakened in a secluded clearing by the old ruins down south. He's all tangled in that underground filth. Oh, no. <laughs> Let us not hesitate any longer then, sir. It has all been leading to this very moment. Our trial. Our final fight. Today, we step into the breach. We either slay the beast, or let our dead bodies block its path. Yes, sire. What's the plan, then? Well, push forward and take point. I'll organize the rear guard to shield us from a treacherous stab in the back. Well, that's very noble of you, Sir Knight. I'll go. Run. Run, lass. May the gods carry you. May Perun himself guide your hand. Crush the monster, or give up your ghost trying! It shall be so. I swear by all that is holy. May Perun always walk with you. I was seeking one who seeks. I won't let you walk past further, should you not accept my gift. He knows damn well we're here for the Silver Shellock. We'll need to play his game. Claim your prize for such a game. Hunter's arm feels pain of prey. Any who's to harm the hunter shall now give her only care. What say you? I... I accept your offer. Splendid.
Wait a minute. Aren't you the ones I was uh, inquiring about back in the spring? May your hand be just, but your she is patient. Shellac Henrik mentioned must be somewhere here. I'd better take a look. I'm on a break. Go bother someone else. Locked. Guess I need to find some way around. <laughs> Access to the depository of unprocessed artifacts is strictly prohibited. Oh. I don't know what you want, but I don't have any time for that. Well, Henrik sent me. Supposedly you have the Golden Shellac in this? Depository of unprocessed artifacts? I really need it to... Maybe I have, maybe I don't. Right now, I'm fully absorbed in something else entirely. There has been a gross violation of the protocol in the form of somebody having eaten my porridge. I had no idea spiders ate porridge. We don't. Still, the porridge was mine. And it has been eaten by someone. Cataloging that event will take ages. Not to mention choosing the correct mm. action procedure. I am... Absolutely preoccupied until further notice. I just need you to open that door for me. I'll look for the thing myself. There'll be no looking for the thing yourself. Even if I had the time to do this for you, I would need an application form for that. A formal request form written in mosquito blood. In mis... Where would I even get that? Who's supposed to know that? Me or you? From the Agony Certifier. Where else? Um, fine. I suppose I'll get that for you if you really need that. Whatever gets me inside. Ugh. <sighs> 
I sincerely apologize, but I'm busy. But I... I am truly heartbroken to say that I don't have any time to assist you. I am knees deep in papers. There has been a tragic violation of the protocol in the form of somebody having sat in my chair. Oh, and I assume that spiders don't really sit in chairs, but this one was yours and... But of course I sit in my chair. What else would I need it for? Anyways, I am deeply depressed to inform you that I am preoccupied until further notice. Well, maybe except for some minor matters that can be settled right away. Otherwise, the soonest available admission dates are in the spring. Very well. I won't take much of your time then. All I need from you is a formal request form written in mosquito blood. In mosquito blood? Oh my. Well, I regret to inform you that in order to issue a formal request form written in mosquito blood, I would require a deer hoof stamp. Sadly, I cannot proceed otherwise. A deer hoof stamp. Yeah. A deer hoof stamp. Yes, sadly. From the execution specialist. Sadly, I cannot proceed otherwise. You're busy with papers, I know. <sighs> then why are you pestering me? Someone slept in my bed. We can't leave it like that, because I need to sleep in my bed. And I need it not slept in by anyone else. Listen. I know you have your procedures, but I really need to get somewhere, and for that I need to get a deer hoof stamp. I was told you'd... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what do you know? I can only issue deer hoof stamps to folks with the rat skin license. I don't suppose you got that, do you? Rat skin license? That's absurd. Right. I feel you. But I don't make the rules. I mean, some of them I do make. But we've got a bit of a collective responsibility thing going on here. So, if you would like to file a complaint, you can. To the pain dispatcher. You can get the rat skin license from that guy too. Until then... I can't really help you. My patience is running out. Request form written in mosquito blood. Or are you here just to waste my time? I don't have that, but I need the rat skin license. That can only be issued based on the formal request form written in mosquito blood. You can get one from the agony certifier. Now, would you please stop wasting my time?
You won't beat them at their own game, princess. <sighs> I need to get myself out of their web somehow. on a break. Go bother someone else. afraid I cannot aid you at this time. I won't be long. All I need is... A formal request form written in... Flyblood. In Flyblood? Well, you don't see these often. I regret to inform you that I would need a frog tongue stamp for that. The execution specialist should be more than happy to provide you with that. I'm on a break. Go bother someone else. Tongue stamp. What? Who makes stamps out of gnoll tongues? That's just wrong. Why would you even need that? I just need you to open that door for me. Uh, you know, the depository of un unprocessed artifacts? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Here's the key, and don't you come back here. I've got a lot on my plate already. Waiting for the papers is not a walk in the park, you know. I know you don't like water all that much, and, oh, and by the way, neither do I, and, and, and my name's Blossom, by the way. You're Blossom? Twig sister? I thought that little snake made you up. Well, 
I'm real. And I want to be just like you when I grow up. All those amazing things you did. You really think so? Mm hmm I heard you talking to that weird fish and that you really, really, really need that thing that's in here. So... So you raced me to it, just to... Give it to you. Yeah. But I got a bit distracted along the way and, well, a bit hungry too. You ate the spider's porridge? Um... And sat in their chair? I... I, um... <laughs> and slept in their bed? <sighs> Do you even imagine what I had to go through to get in here? But I... I got you the golden shell up. Aren't you happy? <sighs> Maybe a bit. Thank you, Blossom. <laughs> You're welcome. Girls should stick together, right? <laughs> All the applications accepted. All the permissions granted. All the procedures complete. Um, I suppose that's impressive. Could you move out of my way now? The process allowed us to deduce the fate of the perpetrator. So, what are you planning to do with her? Capital punishment. Of course, the perpetrator could file an appeal against that verdict. We highly encourage that. Such appeals often result in full dismissal of the punishment. We are merciful, after all. Civilized. Humane. So, where is the culprit? Hand them over at once. All she ever did here was in good faith. Her actions were necessary for my... I don't remember seeing your not getting shot privilege document. Not getting... Uh, 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 of course we have it. We're here. In three copies? Written with mosquito blood? Stamped with an ivory stamp. Oh. See? She got them both. What did I tell you, huh? Sorry, I just had to tell this fool over here. Anyway, I see you got both Shellocks. Hell a nice job. Hey, you're good at this. Of course. Uh, it seems we've got all we need. Ready to consult the bones? <laughs> you better be. 
because they sure are chatty. Hold, whoa, 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 hold back, guys. It, it's not your turn, man. Is Gordana among them? We're gonna see. Okay, this is your moment, man. It might have gone a little rusty, but it's not gonna hold you back. The world is yet to see the best of Henrik the Golden Pipefish. <clears throat> all is dark, all is quiet. Hear these words, um, all is... Uh, it's way too many lights in here. Uh, quick, go ahead and, and put them out. Okay, give me a second. Oh, yeah, man. It's getting bad. Good, we're almost there. Oh, yeah. Dark and chilly. That's the way to do it. All right, here goes. All is dark. All is quiet. We shall start this ancient rite. Yeah, it is perfect. You bet it is. All is dark. All is quiet. Hear these words. Hear my cry. All is dark. All is quiet. Come the dead. Walk the night! The old man still got moves. All is dark! All is... All is dark! All is quiet! You will cross the great divide! Something's not right, man! Right. I don't like it. How about you... All is dark! All is quiet! <laughs> this feeling... Huh? What are you... You... This ends now. Oh no. No. Be gone, Ruth Stricken Demon. The power of crystal compels you. I will. Now I won't let you. No. You wanted a spirit, but you got a demon. Looks like Gordana couldn't cut through. <sighs> Borvi and Jack should probably know about this. <sighs> Gone for good. Stuck in between. Drowned. Again. Gone because of me. He's not the first one. Not the last either, Princess. But he got back once already. He might just be there. Can we do anything for him? What's that? You're back in one piece. How's your head, though? Hardly anyone walks away from such a thing without any mental toll. It could be worse. Could be better, too. Well, the rite didn't exactly go as planned. Hmm. No spirits to consult? No spirits at all? Well, that's hardly a surprise. Quite the opposite. Gordana didn't show up, but someone else did. Baba. Horrible! I wonder why that happened. No need to keep guessing. It could have happened for a number of reasons. Henrik's mistake could be one of them. Oh, by the way, how is he? Even more delirious than usual. We'll take care of the guy. Or 
Whatever's left of him. I can only hope you still manage to learn something from this ritual thing. Whatever that might be. If not about your sister, then maybe about yourself? Please, take this. We were going to give it to you before all this mess. Take it while we still can help you. While we're still here. Thank you. Can't I help you somehow? You already did. Right, Orphy? You gotta move on. Don't look back. I hope you will find your sister. And never give way to the roots. See you later, kiddo. In this life? Or another? Goodbye, Jack. Bye, Borfi.
do chaty. Hmm. Znowu maską. Jak zwykle. He is. Mother of all. He's humongous. Remember. Uh, stop where you are, giant. I, I came to. I. Get rid of it. Or die. I think he's still struggling with the roots. So maybe we can. Mm -hmm. We'll see about it.
persevered. I, I think he beat the roots. <sighs> he did. Not without a little help, though. Oh. I can see clearly again. Think again. Good job, little one. Um, what... What exactly are you? And what are you doing here? I slumbered for ages. Until the roots came. Trying to break in. Break in? To where? The hollowed ground. I withstood the corruption for as long as I could. Then it took my mind. Yeah, the same old song and dance. The sanctuary is safe again. I shall return to my watch. inside the place he's guarding. One day we might find out. Now, let's get out of here. That girl got angry. We light bonfires like this every forefather's eve. They're meant to help the spirits find their way back to this world. So, maybe it's not a bad thing this one's not burning now? Lost your way, orphan? Gods be praised! You're back alive! Uh, did the behemoth perish? The battle is won. The beast is fine. <laughs> The glorious day has, uh, uh, wait, what did you say? The beast is fine? Ahem, <clears throat> uh, the alleged beast wasn't our enemy, Sir Knight. He's an elder being who fell victim to the roots. A guardian. A god? The guardian? Yeah, the roots have awakened him when they tried to break into some place he's protecting. He endured their attacks to fulfill his duty. Unfortunately, his mind was shrouded by their madness. Could it be possible I misjudged the situation so severely? Would that be the guardian of the sanctuary? The ancient writings told of such a figure. That much I don't know, sir. Splinters must have got into his heart and eyes, making him see only the worst in people and things. And what fate have you brought upon him? Have you wronged him in any way? No, sir. The curse was lifted and the Guardian returned to his sworn duty. Oh, 
You cannot even fathom what you have done. What you have achieved with this noble act. We'd be done for, should we have stalled even a day more. The roots would have broken through the Eternal Watch. The Mushroom Kin would be no more, regardless of our allegiances. I... I was blind. Blinded by war. A war with monsters, gnomes, with the cursed. Now, I see. I see, thanks to you, noble lady. I see that having set my eyes on a distant enemy, I did not see the ally at hand. Mm -hmm. You've always had trouble seeing past the tip of your I nose. Mean, we have been through thick and thin together, sir. <sighs> and your heart is truly in the right place, sir. Hmm. May the gods bring us many more triumphs over the roots. In battles fought together, as brothers in arms. Please, accept this token of my gratitude, fair lady. Oh, thank you for your trust, friend. Now, chop chop, let us get back to work. I want you to polish my plate armor, sharpen my spurs, oh, and uh, clean up the mess here. This place reeks like a stable. Disturb their senses? That's pointless, commoner! May Perun always walk with you. Sweet home. Just don't make yourself too comfortable. Of course. We've got a job to do. <laughs> the roots have overgrown this place. Here comes a new tantrum. What do you really want from me? I bet you could get the hut some other way. The hut, the masks, the idols. They're means to a greater end. But you... You gotta walk the road. Unless... Unless I smash the mask into pieces. Whew, shots fired. I thought you can't live without it. Ugh. Can't you feel it, princess? Something's changed. I don't want to... harm you. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't wait to do it. Oh, you're not ready. Yeah. I just hope... This junk works properly this time. Days when the roots were sweeping the land will soon be over. There's still one thing to deal with, though. Hello there, old friend. Where are you walking to? All alone? 
Um, following the trail? Wait, did you just- I'm going to see my grandmother and carry her a cake and- Thus she'll leave, far off. I'm glad you two are having fun, but- It's beyond that mill you see there, in the first half. But there are more important matters to attend to. Um, sorry. Did someone say something? I guess. Should we...? Most likely, yeah. It's time. Don't tell me you're finally going to talk to me now. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. That depends on you, mostly. <sighs> the time of the year is on your side, though. Is the winter solstice, so according to an age-old custom, animals are kind of obliged to speak to humans. Look, I can feel I'm this close to finding out what happened to my sister, and... But first, you needed to unravel the past of your missing friends, right? Well, it seems that way. It's not enough. You become responsible for every little soul you collect on your way. And you owe them a closure. Talk about leaving your past behind. The only way towards the truth leads through the prison of souls. The place of judgment. Don't worry, I will keep an eye on you. For a while, the rest of the road You'll have to walk alone and face whatever is there. There was a time when my knees would buckle after hearing such a thing. Since we've got a moment all for ourselves, let me enlighten you with some answers.
But not the people. They hardly ever change. They thought Gordano was the evil from the woods. Just like those who came before her. Baba. For them, it was always Baba's fault. Baba Gordana has a certain ring to it, doesn't it? Just like the witch's eye in the village. <sighs> Here goes nothing. never seen these ruins around here. The trail goes straight in. So do you. Oh, you're here already. I'm here already. Come closer. I've got a real treat for you. of life keep on spinning my thread. See the gate? Everything you've been looking for lies behind. The key to your future is in your past. But one needs to be closed for other to open. The souls. Chasing ghosts is pretty much all I do. Chasing and catching, but now, look each of them in the eyes and decide. The choices you make will give you the keys to your destiny. Uh, where was I? Ah, uh, ah yes. You see, Gordana was the last of her lineage. An age-old bloodline of the wise women. The only ones capable of taming the chaos of the heart and its voracious roots. Few people ever knew how much they owed the Guardians. Now talk about the thankless job. Mostly, she would keep to herself. <laughs> Mostly. She was only human after all. It so happened she gave birth to two daughters, twins. It does ring a bell, doesn't it? Why did I have a feeling it would all end like this? She has never loved anyone more than them. <sighs> the folk have always pinned down their ill fate to the witch. So they chose to get rid of her. They... killed her?
from that hole. Oh, there will be a lot more. You can count on that.
all the twins would ever see of their mother are the parting gifts she left them. The torment of leaving her children all alone in the woods would be eased only by the hope of keeping them safe from the peasant's wrath. While the distance between them steadily grew, the time she had left was running out ruthlessly. And so it goes. Your heritage has burdened you, even as you were oblivious to it. And it always will. there was something more to this mask. The bully. He's trapped. Convenient. Don't. Wait. Don't kill me. for too long, Falco. I always did what my old man told me to. 
A witch deserves nothing more than a good stake in fire, he said. And he, well, he knew a thing or two about witches. How? I just hope I won't regret this. Feel free. Get out of my sight. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Yaga. So sorry. After your mother's demise, there was no one to contain the hut. No person was wise, strong, worthy. Oh, don't look at me now. I'm far beyond such concerns. My role here is uh, of a different nature. Of course. A break in the Guardian lineage will shake the land to its core. The roots have been spreading far and wide for years. Everything they touch turns so out of place. Like from an entirely different story. And Gordana's soul? Well, it will find no rest until her daughters are safe. And they never really were. Daughters? I'll have to get used to the sound of that. It wasn't until the forefathers' eve, three years ago, that things changed. I think you know well, don't you? Please, be careful not to bite your own tongue. Killer! Wait! Don't kill me! Ah! 
She's here, and she won't run away this time. Forgive me. So little anymore, Slavica. I didn't mean to. We could have been. But I know. Your crush wasn't the best influence, was he? You can still find peace together. You're free. Thank you. Go to the feather. And it is. Zora? She had realized following the spirits would lead her towards the truth. And so she set off into the wild. What for, you may ask? To clear you of the accusations, of course. Out of love. She tried to help you live among the people. But they were never your people, were they? They will never be. However, ugly duckling and your inner strength finally shines through. Zora has always known you've had it buried deep within. That's why she never gave up on you. Her absence only made you grow. One way or another, she succeeded. But where is she? Well, your sister's fate is not for me to tell her. But for you to learn, on your own.
What about your fate? Whether you have walked down a path of light or a path of darkness matters not. Only that it was yours. For being good or evil truly means not in the face of being one with oneself. Despite all that, there's still a part of you you haven't absorbed yet. You've been denying it for so many years, covering it with a false face, with your mask. But you can't keep it confined forever. It is there, awakening, howling, rattling its cage. Something wrong. Terrifying. See how I see the muskets? You're welcome. It's me, Dragoy. It's, it's... It's so dark here. It's so cold. I... I... 
I know I deserve no better. I, I did wrong, Yaga. So wrong. Mm -hmm. You sure, Wavi? Act now, think later, type. <laughs> that... That gingerbread heart you gave me... That... I never got to tell you... I... One mistake should not define us. See you in another life, friend. In a thousand years... In a million years... And so it goes. I'll wait for you by the gate. did what had to be done. Oh, more than you know. And what's more important, you have faced yourself too. But you will have to do it again and again. The next time is waiting just around the corner. You may want to make some preparations beforehand. Because once you're inside, there will be no coming back. And nothing will remain the same. You will survive only if you accept the other side, whatever it may be. As for me, this is the farthest I can go. The rest of the story is yours and yours alone. I'll see you in another fairy tale. Goodbye, friend. Just let me know. We knew coming back.
Eric's didn't go easy on these. Not safe yet. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. You wouldn't give a damn about it. One day, I wouldn't. <sighs> Things have changed. I don't want to tear everything down. I'll salvage what I can. Meaning me. Oh, thank you for your mercy. Can't you see? I've been showing you grace all this time. I could have gotten rid of you a long time ago. I could have thrown you away. Throw me away? Yes. Throw away the mask. Isn't that what you are? Just a mask to cover up my sins? But I don't give a shit about what people think anymore. Or, or what they'll do to me. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Guess what? The real me doesn't need a mask to hide behind anymore. You got it all wrong. The truth. And stop calling me that! I don't need you, don't you get it? I don't! Just shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Good.
<clears throat> Hello? Anyone? What do you know? She really did shut up. That feels good for a change. gone for quite a while now. Feels weird. You got it all wrong, princess. The truth... What were you trying to say there, huh? like I told you to. Yuck. Zora? I'm coming. <sighs> Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters. Zora! Was it... your... I knew it. I... I failed. I, I, I didn't... I, I didn't fail. Don't blame yourself, sister. For my fate was sealed before you even left the village. Now, just a spell of bad luck, a misadventure, the tragic reality of life. Why are you still here then? Baba may have had no hand in my demise, but she still craves my soul. the soul of our mother. You need to stop her before she devours you as well. You can still save us.
No power. I... I'm... Let her go! You hear me? Okay. I think it's the best time you stopped pouting and came back. Um. Blood of blood. Bone of bone. Fuck! I need to aim for the heart. That was close. 
gotta be kidding me. Are you still there? Are you? That was quite an adventure. You did good. Things that I said... Without you, I'd never make it. Without you... You did good, Princess. I finally know who you are. And... What I am. For so long, I... Thought you were my mask. Yeah. You've come a long way. We have. 
Funny I never asked your name. Funny I never asked yours. It's time. You made up your mind. I did. The mask. It's gonna be all right. You'll be all right. I will carry you. So, it's a goodbye. See you around, maybe? Maybe. See you around, princess. There are no villains. And there are no heroes either. The ways we walk are laid by glimmers of our dreams. Living the fairy tale we all become the same blurry past. Destination becomes irrelevant. We make the road. Road makes us not heroes, not villains. Just us.